Was that good? That was great. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> It's Regina, your host of Eat Drink Local Texas, and today I'm here at an iconic San Antonio restaurant serving up delicious, award-winning fried chicken and house-made desserts. We're here at Earl Abel's. Let's go ahead and check them out. Hey guys, I'm super excited to introduce to you the owner of Earl Abel's, Danny Badiola. Danny, thank you so much for having us here today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for being here. So I have a couple of questions for you. So Earl Abel's is such an iconic restaurant here in San Antonio. What inspired you to open up the restaurant? Well, when they closed September of last year, we were thinking of, we're, we're in, a, in a situation where do we open up a new brand? or keep up with the Earl Abel's brand. Why create something from scratch when you have a very strong brand already in San Antonio that has a, a huge following? We're, we're happy that we, we made that, that decision. And what does Earl Abel's mean to San Antonio? I think Earl Abel's is, a, is, is very historic, nostalgic for the locals. Um, I do get a lot of people coming in here with different stories from after their prom, after watching theater downtown with uh, at the Majestic and and even just on a big night out since Earl Abel's back then was 24 hours it was the the place to be that's amazing yeah. what would you say makes your restaurant so different from the ones here that we have in San Antonio I believe that the the loyalty of Earl Abel's customers the fried chicken has basically stayed the same we kept the the the, the, the core soul of the brand basically and at the same time, we try to reach out to the, to the new customers as well. That's amazing. And what would you say are fan favorite dishes that everyone always comes in here and orders? Well, definitely the Earl Abel's famous fried chicken. Chicken fried steak is also a, a, a top seller. Our roast turkey, definitely a favorite with, with, with Thanksgiving. Um, and obviously our pies. Well, I think it's time to start trying out some of their amazing dishes. So as you can see, they have an amazing spread of food for me today. And today I am joined with the head chef and co-owner of Earl Abel's, Geraldine. Geraldine, can you explain to me a little bit about what I'm gonna be trying out today? It's a chicken fried steak. It's a grass-fed steak and also a homemade mashed potatoes and green beans with stewed tomatoes and bacon with a fluffy biscuit. Guys, it's so, so good. It's a plate that you want when you're like missing home or something. It really is cozy. And I can tell that y'all put a lot of thought and effort into it and it tastes homemade. So now we're gonna be moving on to a plate that I think was very popular for y'all around the holidays, but it is available all year long. So can you tell me a little bit more about this? It's a uh, roast turkey with our homemade cornbread dressing and our homemade mashed potatoes and the fluffy biscuit with the green beans. So, what I love about it is that it's not dry. It's really, really moist, which some turkeys are pretty dry, but this one is really, really good. And something that Earl Abel's is very well known for is their award-winning fried chicken, which I'm super excited to try out today. So, can you tell me a little bit more about it? Well, it takes us at least 14 minutes to cook it. Oh. And it we we cook it when you order it, but it's nothing beats um, fresh fried chicken. I don't know how much I could tell. Yeah, but like, I'm, right? I bet it's a secret. I yeah. mean, this restaurant is so iconic and they are so well known for their fried chicken. And yeah. now I know why. They also do have a couple of side dishes that are super important here at Earl Abel. So can you tell me a little bit more about this rice? This is our garlic infused uh, jasmine rice with chorizo. Do you and, like it? Yeah, I like it. And can you tell me a little bit about the backstory of well, why y'all put it into the menu? Well, actually, where I'm from, from the Philippines, uh, we normally use the leftover rice. We saute it with uh, garlic. So I came up with this because we're in San Antonio and yeah. chorizo's everywhere. Everybody loves chorizo here. 
Well, I love how you brought in some of your culture into a very iconic restaurant here in San Antonio and put a little bit of a Texas twist on it. After trying out all this amazing food, I am stuffed, but I know they have something else coming my way, which is their desserts that are house made here and that they're very well known for. Okay guys, this is what I'm most excited about because I have been craving pie, especially because y'all's are so well known here in San Antonio because they are homemade. So can you tell me a little bit about this one? This is our chocolate ice box. And it's one of our best sellers here. It's a chocolate fudge base pudding. So it's very rich. Yes. And it does have the whipped cream and it's topped with the chocolate sprinkles. Yeah, it's super, super good. If y'all have a chocolate craving or a sweet tooth, make sure y'all try this one out. And then this is something else that y'all um, make a lot of, which are your eclairs. Can you tell me a little bit about this? So basically, we we bake the bread here. It's called the patashu. Mm. And inside is a pastry cream. We dip it on chocolate. And we do have the white buttercream. And this last cake, I think, is what I'm most excited about because it's one of my favorites. So can you tell us a little bit more? This is our banana cream pie. It's also our best seller. Mm. It's basically like a vanilla pudding, pudding. Yeah. with sliced banana. bananas and some wafer on top with a whipped cream. That is so, so good. As you can see, I'm going back for more and more bites because I love it. And something else that they have here are drinks and they also have drink specials from three to six every day they have happy hour and these are their earl keto and their loaded bloody mary but yeah guys make sure you follow them on instagram facebook they do catering they have to go they have delivery services they have everything you need make sure you come on in and try out this iconic restaurant here in san antonio and when you come in make sure you let them know that eat drink local texas sent y'all bye guys Was that good? That was great. Right? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> How many kinds of pie do we have? So regularly six. Nine. Nine. But then it can go up to twenty-five. Your name's Regina. My daughter's name's Regina. Really? The little one. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Is, I is was Regina a popular name in the Philippines? Not yeah. that much. Uh,